you beautiful people, how are you doing? The most exciting thing on the planet has happened. I've had a new baby. And here it is. It's my new book. It's called Fartology, The Extraordinary Science Behind the Humble Fart. And it's all about the amazing stuff that goes on in your portable chemistry lab. You might not think about farting very much, but you should, because this is how much the average adult farts every single day. Yep, it's about one and a half litres of gas. Now, women, a little bit less than men, but we all fart all day, and women's farts are smellier than men's. Oh yes, they are, and in the book, I'll explain why that's the truth. So, uh, I'm obsessed with food, but I like, I like to find out the stories behind food, the science behind it, what happens after we've eaten. So, it's led me to fartology and all of the science behind your rectal gas. So, uh, we tackle all the big questions in this book. Uh, it's all about fart chemistry, uh, the basics, obviously, what is a fart, what are the gases inside it, what are the smells in farts? Why are there different flavour volatiles that make your fart stinky and mine delicious? Uh, is a fart just a gas version of a poo? You see, I'm tackling all of the big questions of life here. Uh, then we've got, um, do animals fart? Now, uh, herrings do fart, uh, birds don't fart, and spiders, well, Nobody seems to know. Uh, I got practical information in here as well. So uh, I explain what are the fartiest foods on earth. So if you need to have a really farty feast with your family and you want to really get up ahead of steam, I've got brilliant recipes here for you to be able to achieve that uh, with maximum pain. Uh, the joy of faecal matter. This is uh, the, an explanation of the science of poo or poop, if you're listening from America. And um, one of the key questions that I've always been concerned about is why are some farts hotter than others. So we really do cover everything that's needed to cover. Um, what I love also is the sound of farts. And we look at the fluid dynamics of this anal flappage. Yep, and the fluid dynamics are absolutely extraordinary. And I explain exactly what's going on for those real howlers uh, that you get up to uh, early in the morning. Um, I thought I'd just give you um, a little reading. Uh, we'll start with um, what's the difference between men's farts and women's farts. I hope you're listening to this on the loop. A glorious piece of research published in the journal Gut in 1998 is clear that women's farts are much smellier than men's. Not just a mere sniff smellier, but a whole lot smellier, due to the higher concentrations of the prime fart stench gases. Women's farts were found to have a 200% higher concentration and 90% higher volume of hydrogen sulfide than men's, as well as 20% higher concentration of methanethyl. And when offered to two experienced fart smell judges, and yes, that is a job, farts were judged to be clearly more offensive than men's. Now, admittedly, the study was a small one involving 16 volunteers, but this tiny field of research is renowned for small sample sizes and very few studies. Come on, 200%, go girls! Uh, thank you. Uh, this contains crucial life information, and there is absolutely no doubt about it, the world is now a better place with this book in it. Please, go and buy one!